in this video we will learn about quantity index in my previous video i have already explained price index numbers here we are going to learn about quantity index numbers quantity indices can be obtained easily by changing the values of p to q and q to p in the various price indices formula that we discussed earlier like last year's method past cheese fisher's ideal marshall edgeworth and bowley's method the same formula but in the place of p we have to change it to q and in the place of q we have to change it to p see here we have the formula so formula for last year's method in quantity index number is q01 so in the price index we have to mention it as p01 but here we have to mention it as q01 equal to summation q1 p0 divided by summation q0 p0 into 100 Next formula for Pasteur's method is Q01 equal to summation Q1 P1 divided by summation Q0 P1 into 100. Next formula for Fisher's ideal method is Q01 equal to square root of summation Q1 P0 divided by summation Q0 P0 into summation Q1 P1 divided by summation Q0 P1 into 100. Now we will solve an example. In this example, we have to find out Fisher's ideal formula, the quantity index from the following data given below. So here we have to find out the quantity index by using the Fisher's ideal formula. So here we have a table in that we have commodity that is A, B, C is given, and we have 2014 and 2015 price and quantity values. So 2014 that is considered to be a base year and 2015 as a current year. so using this we have to find out fisher's ideal formula so for that we have a table that is commodity 2014 price and quantity values next 2015 price and quantity value so 2014 is assumed to be the base year so we have to mention it as p0 that is price value and q0 is the quantity value and in 2015 p1 is the price value and q1 is the quantity value so now we have to find out these values that is q1 p0 q0 p0 and q1 p1 and q0 p1 so now we have to find out these values so we have to first multiply the values of q1 into p0 so q1 that is 12 p0 that is 10 so 12 into 10 that is 120 next 7 into 16 that is 112 and last one is 4 into 12 that is 48 next we have to multiply q0 into p0 so q0 into p0 that is 10 into 10 100 16 into 6 that is 96 and 12 into 3 that is 36 next q1 p1 that is we have to multiply these two values 8 into 12 96 14 into 7 98 10 into 4 that is 40 and last one is q0 into p1 so that is we have to multiply these two values 10 into 8 80 6 into 14 84 and 10 into 3 that is 30 so now we have to find out the total of all the values so that is first one q1 p0 that is summation q1 p0 total is if you add all the three values you will get 280 and this is summation q0 p0 total value is 232 and that is and this is summation q1 p1 total value is 234 and this is summation q0 p1 that is equal to 194 so now we have to substitute all the values in the given uh, fisher's ideal index formula So formula for Fisher's quantity index is q01 equal to square root of summation q1 p0 divided by summation q0 p0 into summation q1 p1 divided by summation q0 p1 into 100. Now we have to just substitute the values that is equal to square root of summation q1 p0. First value is 280 divided by summation q0 p0 that is 232. into next one is summation q1 p1 that is 234 divided by summation q0 p1 that is 194 into 100 
so this is equal to square root of 1.45574 if you divide and multiply you will get square root of 1.45574 into 100 so if you simplify you will get 1.2065 into 100 so the value of q01 equal to 120.65 so this is the quantity index value by using the fisher's method so in the same way you have to find out last years past years or whatever method they have they are asking so you have to find out the same way by using the formulas that is given so thanks for watching this video if you find this video useful please subscribe to my channel and click on like button and for further notification please hit the bell icon thank you